Hello, this is a walkthrough of part two of the force and motion, force and motion basics. Um, we're going to be exploring the effect of mass on acceleration. We're going to be using that same simulation that we were using for part one. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Let me open that up here. Click on this. Here we go. Um, only this time we're going to be, uh, again, looking at uh, what happens if we are using the same size force, but the mass of the object changes. So once we have this open, we're going to go hit play. We're going to go over here to acceleration. All right. And then just like before, we are going to check all the boxes in the green box. We're going to hit pause and hit the double arrow until we get to a force of 150 newtons. So we slide this to zero. We check all these boxes. We hit pause and we're going to put the force at 150 newtons. Next, we hit play and record the force um, and acceleration in a copy of this spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and make a copy of the spreadsheet. Sorry, we don't record the force, we record the mass and acceleration in the copy of the spreadsheet. That was a typo on there. It'll be fixed on yours. So again, we're recording the mass and the acceleration in the copy of the spreadsheet. So. We're going to go over here. We're going to hit play. Looks like our total mass is 50 kilograms and our acceleration is three in this case. So in my uh, column, I'm going to say 50 kilograms. My acceleration was three. Next, it says stop the crate by grabbing it. Oops, forgot to do that. Let me do that real fast. Then I'm going to drag a second crate onto the screen and stack it on the first. Remember to hit pause button and then hit the double arrow to get it to 150 newtons again. Then you'll hit play and record the total mass and acceleration on your spreadsheet. So we're going to take the second crate. We're going to drag it on now making a total mass of 100 kilograms. I'm going to go ahead and put the force at 150 newtons just like I did before. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play and we see that the acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. So I'll go over here, I'll write in a total mass of 100 newtons and we have an acceleration of 1.5. Go back and pause this real fast. Oop. How do I pause? There we go. Okay, so paused it. Um, next. It says we stop the crate by grabbing it. Awesome. We're going to repeat the process for at least eight different combinations of objects. You must get at least one total mass above 300 kilograms. And we're going to record the mass and the acceleration for each combination. So what you're doing um, is simply adding up new. I think there's an extra image in here. We'll fix that later. You're simply adding on new um, objects on top. So for example, uh, we might go ahead and now have a crate plus a refrigerator, or maybe you have a crate plus refrigerator plus a bucket, but you're going to be adding up what that total mass is, looking at what the acceleration is and recording it. Once you finish with at least eight different combinations, you'll answer, you'll graph it using the Desmos template per usual. You'll fit a trend line. This time I think we have two or three different options for the trend lines. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a linear, which can also be proportional, and we've got an inverse um, relationship, and you need to figure out which one um, best fits our data. After you finish that, we've got, uh, we want you to write down the equation. We want you to tell us what happened when you increased the total mass, um, what happened to the acceleration, what pattern did it follow, and then you're going to use those questions to help you answer or fill in the blanks um, for this conclusion. Um, so again, you're using this conclusion template to fill in the blanks and write your conclusion down here. That's it for this walkthrough. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher or shoot them an email.